What up and welcome back to my Stay Into Town series. In the last episode we got ourselves back into the top two and we want to let the minimum stay in this position. So we're going to start things off in March against Huddersfield and uh, we want to get a win. Simple as that. They're in there, pushing on. Let's get them on the break there. Come on. 1 0. And it is. Who else but Tom Lawrence? What a signing he's been. Credit to Mike Peters. I believe he's the one that recommended it. So, getting the United Old Boys all reunited. It's starting to pay off, really. God, not the kind of goal you want to concede, but it's 1-1. One, one. Let's go through the team tour. There you go. Let's get them out and get them winning again. Come on. Get rid of it. They're putting a lot of pressure on. I mean, wave after wave is just their attacks. But we see the game out, and it is 1 1. A point isn't too bad because it really sort of just assures our position without losing any places. But hopefully, this match against Charlton, who have absolutely dominated the season when we have played them, hopefully, we can. Uh, Replicate that in this game. A lot of uh, possession in our favour. We want to start converting that into goals, though. Not for them, for us. Oh, and that's his red. That should be even more booster plans. That's it, work it around well. Beautiful, beautiful, great goal. That's Kishner off the mark. Come on. That's it, well moved, well moved. Oh, come on. How have we not scored a second yet? Half time, and we want to kick on in the second half. As players tire, I think we have the man advantage. So hopefully, should be signs of fatigue. Is that no? Oh, and it's two nil. Standard cross goal, but you take them however they come. That's Pogba. That is three. Fair pitch Charles and they're keeping on going, but this game is only for one. Oh, fair play. What a goal. I did not see that coming at all. So, um, yeah, but we're still very comfortable, of course. Um, we seem to have Charlton's number right now, so. Let's see if we can add to a tally rather than worry about more goals being conceded. Still going to bring on some fresh legs. Just, you know, keep the squad fresh for more crucial games coming up. Oh, 4-1. Pogba once again. It's just goals, goals, goals for him right now. And I'm loving that. Oh. What a goal. What a goal that is. 5 1, what a result as well. Oh, no, still 5 1. Probably our performance of the season, if I'm honest. It's a brilliant game. It's completely dominant. 
Kishna is having a great run of form for us. Uh, wonderful pickup for a free, I'm telling you that much. But Bristol City, I'm sure, will pose a greater threat. I say that we almost got straight away. Oh dear. Oh, good save. I say keep working it around. Oh, damn it. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. What a goal. It's that man again. The goal machine himself. And that's half time, and with the one goal lead, I haven't really seen much from Bristol City to be worried about defensively, um, or what areas to strengthen. Oh, should have been two there. Should have been two, but yeah, I haven't really seen much of their attacks to identify what they're targeting. At the moment, our ball retention is fantastic. Moving it about. Simply but effectively, and a well deserved goal. It may have been a bit of a fluke, but it is thoroughly deserved just for the way we've been holding the ball, moving it around, our off the ball movement, the, everything you want to see. Oh, this <laughs> is. Moving on. Who's stuck? No, it's okay. Don't know what quite happened there, but so be it. <laughs> Should be another three points in the bag. Oh, hopefully, just a consolation that. That's why it's so important to get that two goal lead. Things like that can happen. But, we got a feedback and we are now top of the league. Whew. It's high up here on our perch. But, we intend to stay here. So, let's do this. Burnley up now. They're the latest team to try and uh, squander or hope to squander our progress. I'm not going to allow that. Instead, we're going to go and try and get the victory here. Come on, 1-0. Casey, as always, a big man. Oh, that's just a good football. 2-0, Pogba. Team is just buzzing right now. Oh, come on, lads. Silly error causes the goal there. Work it around, nice. Oh. Don't know how we've not added to the tally there. That's half time, and we're going with a good lead. Fully deserved. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. How the hell is this game level? We've been totally on top, so we only have ourselves to blame, really. Heads are just dipped. Come on, let's hold our take it we'll take a point at this point. So draw it is. Um it would have been nicer to get a better result, especially the way we started the game. But we sort of slid up a bit and take the draw. We actually have our big, big game right now against Crystal Palace. They're obviously the team that we're competing against for some of the top two places. And we're currently seeing at the top of the league. So everyone's gunning for us. And uh, we're not going to let them take us down. At least we're going to try and stop them anyway. They're buzzing and the crowd looks like um, they may want it.
say it looks like we started this game the way we ended the one against Burnley and it's with the opposition all over us. There it is. First goal of the evening and it's to Crystal Palace. Oh yes, the equaliser. Come on, James Tompkins. That's what I'm talking about. No. Kishner's gone down with injury and he's actually been really uh really good player for us since he's joined. Getting assists like there's no tomorrow. But we do have Jack Bombi, so it's not exactly a massive dip. Well we take the draw and the draw is a good result when you're playing with someone just slightly below you because they get no closer to you, simple as that. Obviously um winning is the the best thing. But we couldn't achieve that. We were dominated in that game, so I'm not too too sad about it. Got Blackpool nice and our injuries are racking up. It really is hindering our the comfort in which we go for these playoff places. That will just look a little bit more lively. I mean, they had so much space there. It's not really uh, typical of us to allow that much space, particularly in the middle of the park. On the wings, we've had problems with it, but the passing was, wasn't was exactly inch perfect, and they, they had so much time to retrieve it. See, it's just... We just seem a little off the pace. Loose effort. That's it. Oh, come on. Good goal there. This is better. This is better. There you go. Oh yes, what a comeback. Did not see that happening when we first started this game. Nice. Oh, should have scored. We have definitely grown into this tie. Come on. Let's kick on for this win now. Oh, another injury. Oh. It's Saidi Jenko, who isn't exactly a left back to start off with. I've got Joe Riley at right back and he's taken a knock. <laughs> and now we're bringing Otis at left back. As you can tell, the injury situation is a bit of a horror one. It's a beautiful play. Oh, injuries or not, we are making a good go of this. Nice. That's it. Come on! Yes! Josh Harrop. The guy is a man for the key goal. Oh dear, what a finish. Fair play. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see that coming. I suppose a draw is good considering what we've had to deal with, but considering we take the lead after being 2 0 down, I'm a bit, a bit gutted, but I think we're still top of the table, so I can't be too disappointed with. Just about a month and a half to go. We're in a very strong position. But I am going to end the episode here. And next time we'll come back for the month of April. But until then, I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye now.